Thank you for joining me, fellow Guardians. This is Sam from Multiverse Mission Control, and today's quest is Sly 2, Band of Thieves. So, we're in the uh, final setup phase before the heist proper. Three missions on the map looks like, and one of them is Bentley's, and you know what? It's been forever since we actually got to play the guy. Let's give him a spot in the sun here. I mean, it's his plan. Right? Okay, wait, let's do... So it's... Right. Just remembering how to sleep dart. That's the most important thing. Alright. Now show me the convenient tapestry. Get out of my way. Bentley got stuffed the duel over here. Here we go. There we go. Bentley, what's your status? I am in position with the RC chopper. All systems are go to neutralize their surface to air defenses. We're going to need free reign of the sky during the heist. Well, be careful. Chopper parts aren't cheap. <laughs> Hostile has been sighted. Hey, Bentley, use the left analog stick to steer the chopper and hit the X button to drop bombs. If you lose track of the Jeep, I'll project a holographic targeting arrow. Follow it back into the action. What the heck? First off, little surprise, Sly is the one keeping track of the finance. I just kind of assumed Bentley did all the brainy stuff. <laughs> Second off, you know how to use the hologram? Launching missiles. Turn hard to dodge Pretty sure Bentley taught you how to use that at least. I'm not imagining that. Also, before I lose the thought, this, uh, this chapter is kind of ridiculous. You're gonna see this thing, like, winch tanks apart. Just another reminder of why Bentley is secretly the devil in disguise and you do not mess with the criminal mastermind. Alright. Oh. And... Yep! Boom. Nice flying, partner. That jeep's out of commission and will have clear skies for the heist. Sweet life. Yeah. I remember the chapter plays a huge role in the heist. I love how he just pulls out the blueprint as an idle animation. Also, before I forget, yeah, you have the size destabilizer now. Let's put that on L2. And it's like you activate it, and when you whack a dude, they shrink, get much weaker. Let's see. Yeah, green glowing. Boom. Oh, he's a little dude. <laughs> Push over. Ah, you're not gonna give me time to aim. Yes, he will. Because you are a fool. You underestimate the Bentley. Uh, let me go lick my wounds. <laughs> Took a sword to the face. Yeah. <sighs> Maybe the nerdy guy, but damn, can he take a punch? Okay, the other two were slides. So, we got Boardroom Brawl and Elephant Rampage. Remember what the elephant is. Let's just hightail it for that quick. Why do I keep getting caught in the doorknob? I love just being ballsy with the sneak attacks. Stealth? Nah, man, rush right up! Just flip him in the air, I don't give! I don't give a tug! I don't give a... I'm pretty sure there were better things I could have said for a kid's game. Uh, I was trying to think of one, there just aren't many alternatives that come bring across what I mean. Okay. Pretty sure the light's gotta be down before I can. Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Sly, we need to find a way to get Rajan's prize elephants out of their pen. I don't know, Bentley. That door looks pretty heavy. 
Maybe I can crawl on that hole under the steps and find an alternate route. <laughs> Would suck so much if they turned around during that debriefing. Then. I feel skeet. Whoops. It's cartoon logic. Mouse scares elephant. Because I think it's more like just like sudden movement is scary to animals in general. And mouse are no nothing if not sudden. Wow, he sure looks spooked. <laughs> a job well done, Sly. Now comes the hard part. I need you to snatch the headdress jewels worn by both elephants. The jewels are firmly embedded, so keep whacking at them with your cane to knock one loose. I'll need to make use of the rooftops to get to one of the elephants' backs, but it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, it can just get a little redundant trying to get back your position after you get knocked off. So you better hope you get a gem before that happens or else you're gonna be doing this a lot. I'm really lucky I didn't just get crushed underneath all the panicked elephants just rampaging about as Bentley said. I miss my paraglider. There's one. Hello. Uh, this may not have been what we planned, but it is a poor thief that can't improvise. In fact, a thief who can't improvise is either in jail or dead. <laughs> then he bucks you off and you gotta do it again. Basically. And that's just on repeat for a little while. And when they get really freaked out, they start swiping at you with their trunk, so... If you get knocked off before you get a crystal, it can be just a heartbreaker. See? Oh, I must add that. Yeah. And since you have to sprint to catch up. You can alert a lot of guards this way. Dang. Darn it! I'm... Yeah. There we go. I'll leave you to it, bud. You got all the jewels off that elephant. Now focus on the other one. Surprised the guards can be. Oh, he, they can be knocked out by the elephants. <laughs> Which makes it even weirder that they're so calm about prize elephants rampaging in the streets right now. Dude. It's not just gonna wait for you. Animals don't understand the rules of the road. Right away means nothing when you gotta panic. No, why are you already angry? Ow! Oh, convenient start point. Oop. This is a bad time to be taking pockets, but it's shiny, and I need it. <laughs> also, you might have health. Whoops. One of these dudes is bound to have a med kit. Yeah. Alright. Come on, sweetheart. Just a little more. Eh. A little surprised that I don't get knocked out just running beside him like this. I mean, I'm practically asking for it. Uh, didn't look a gift for us in the mouth. Especially if you don't intend to cra change the crazy behavior. There we go! A 
that's the saw blade that's gonna cut the clockwork wings off the statue. Right. That's it. I remember With the slideshows. I can make an ultra hard radial saw for the heist. Can't get better than Diamond HUD. Okay. Next on the list, next on the agenda, Boardroom Brawl. Which I'm actually pretty close by. Oddly enough. Fate conspires in my favor. There you are. Ah, uh, sewer pipe. Fantastic. <laughs> How many sets of outfits must I own? Okay, what you got? Murray's rotund features prevent him from fitting through the drape pipe. Right. So we'll need you to unlock the vault room from the inside. I've heard through a reliable source that the guards keep the vault combination written beneath one of their break tables. So you want me to crawl under each till I find it? That's the idea. All right, that's what I gotta do. So I bring Bert Murray in, and then he just starts wrecking house. Or is it that uh, this is how I get him in during the heist? I forget. I know there are frequently missions in the Psy series where I bring Murray in to beat up the big kids. It's an easy solution. I don't see any code. Try another table. It's here somewhere. I'm so glad you say that because I would just be searching frantically Attention and thinking I was guns. missing it. Allow no guest entry to the inner workings of the palace. This party is supposed to be legitimate, and I don't want my flawless reputation being spoiled by some flunky who doesn't know how to lock a door. This spice trade is dangerous work, particularly for those who anger me. Oof. No code here. And I think that's the safe where I get the new skill from all the bottles I collected. This table doesn't have the code. This is it. Fantastic. Now type the code into the vault's laser door entrance. Man, you can't be threatening your co-workers. You gotta have good rapport. It's just gonna end in tears. Nice work! Make your way to the security lockdown switch and let in me and Murray. But there's all this money! Must smash! You don't understand, I, I gotta! That the mania's in my blood, man! We turned it into a family tradition! Or we told people it was tradition! It was really just an excuse! <laughs> it was really just enabling that kleptomania! Okay. I'd love to see the look on Rajan's face when he finds this vault empty. <laughs> the code should be eight five seven. Insanity strike. You've gotten the insanity strike move. So I think that's a lot like Fury and Elder Scrolls. Yeah. Prep it much like I did with uh, Ben Lee's size of the stabilizer, and then next dude you whack will attack friend and foe alike. I'd rather they just do foe though, so I don't really use it. Still the neat move in the right circumstance, I would imagine. Thanks for breaking us in, pal. The Murray approves. <laughs> Let's get down to brass tacks. I need to hack both the vault room computers to get control of the electronic winch above the ballroom. So what are me and Sly here for? The second I enter their servers, they'll be on to us. You guys need to work together to keep the thugs off my back. We gotcha. You and me, pal, side by side. Yeah! Murray knows no fear. Okay, I'm in. The bonds of brohood. the level six barrier. Let's go. Almost there. 
Got it! Moving on to the level 5 system! Ah, uh, Sai, what are you doing? Don't you touch my friend. Mess you up. Okay, I'm close. Changing back for level 4 access. Oh, come on. The Murray cannot carry the burden alone. Oh, sorry. You kind of deserve that, though. You're dropping the ball. I wish I could give that health to Bentley right now. Almost got it. Okay, going for level three. No, no, no. Thought I was the meat shield. You're taking all the blows right now, slimy boy. I'm so close. Yes! Head in for level two! So glad I have fists of flame right now. Boom! The Murray! The Murray is a force of nature! Wrecking house, send your bones! I can taste it! <laughs> I've got control of the winch. Thanks for the backup, guys. No problem. Me and the big guy had it covered. Murray. Well, the big guy had it covered in this case. Get out of here while the coast is clear. Yeah, I, I don't feel like you deserve this one, Sly. This one's this one was on the Murray. Ordinarily, I'm rooting for you, but nah. Okay, synchronize your watches. This heist is going to take extreme precision. Here's the plan. I'll start things off by demolishing the palace's main bridge. That should cut off reinforcements from the guest house and hopefully distract the ballroom guard standing watch over the clockwork wings. Sly will then take Carmelita up on her offer for a dance, and while the crowd is transfixed by their tango, Murray will lower into the ballroom on the electronic witch. What's down? He'll cut the wings free, and then winch back up for an exit. Murray should then make his way out of the palace. I'll cover his exit with the RC chopper. Once he's past the drawbridge, we're home free. Alright. Although I gotta be doing some pretty fancy dancing if I'm gonna be drawing the whole crowd. Yeah, and whenever you fail that mission, Rajan suddenly looks up and notices, Huh? A thief with the wings! <laughs> By the way, can you pawn off my loot quick? Thank ya. Okay. Then Benley, in truth, carries the bulk of this fight. Huh. And starts the mission, apparently. Because he's got to cover Murray after all that. While the alarms are going off and everything. Okay. Yeah. And this gets it a, a bit more into the roguish thief's social elements as well. A good thief should be versed in all, in all the subterfuge aspects, etc., etc. Very um, what's his name? James Bondish? I don't know. Yeah, I think I can slip this in. It's been, it hasn't been that long. Okay, Bentley. Murray and I are moving into position. You still think you can demolish something that large? <laughs> it doesn't take <laughs> an engineer to? to figure out how to blow up a bridge. Yeah. 
I'll start by placing charges on all of the lower cleats. Once the structure destabilizes, those retainer rings on the upper cleats should pop right off. That should enable me to bomb all of the upper cleats, which will bring it all crashing down. Just watch your head when that thing gets unstable. We need that brain of yours in one piece. <laughs> Alright. So. I need to bomb all of the lower cleats before I can take out any of the ones up here. Right. You did just say that. I have no excuse. Last one. Uh oh. Oh. The bridge is starting to crumble. Better watch out for falling stones. Watch the shadows. Let's beg the question of. Down here. That's it for the lower section. Wait. Now for the main support beams. Okay. Good thing you've got the math to back you up on this. This might be a little bit too adventurous for even me. Yeah. God. We got some stones since last game, for sure. Three more to go. One more cleat, and this bridge is going down. Should already be down. Can't just be hanging on one cleat. <laughs> this is red faction guerrilla logic. Okay, slide the bridge is down. All right. I'll warm up the van and get ready with the RC chopper. Good luck. I do that. So, reinforcements down. What? The bridge is destroyed. Take all the manpower you need and look into it. Distraction begins. Now to maintain it. Murray, you in position? Check! It looks like Bentley's little distraction did the trick. Initiate phase two. I'll take care of Carmelita and the crowd. You handle the heavy lifting. Miss Fox, I believe you owe me a dance. About time. I thought you had left. Just waiting for the perfect moment. <laughs> and this is the flirting we can never do when you're chasing me. So I'm gonna enjoy this moment while I got it. You're gonna be so mad. I often deal with police while on the job. <laughs> nice. Part of the time you're watching their dance, you forget to watch the buttons. Ah. I failed this so many times. feel it. The passion I could never convey. Because we're on different sides of the law. Tell me, stranger. What's your name? Why ruin the moment? 
understand. The wings! What happened to the clockwork wings? What? How? Toodles! Who could have. Hairpin! Cooper! Yeah! <clears throat> I this <laughs> she's gonna be pulling no punches next time she's blasting us. <laughs> now I get to rip apart tanks with an RC chopper. With the RC chopper. Let me worry about the guards. You just keep moving. These things are heavy. I should imagine so. Power to ya. Where's the ripping apart the tank slide 3? That's still a thing I can do with the chopper and it's wild. This is tense. Proof of Benley's engineering prowess. Although the controls on this thing are a little wonky. Because of like rubber bends. It's like inertia, it stays in the direction it's going. Yeah. Not far to go. You gotta stay on the control stick as much as possible. Yeah, he's gotta drop that bomb a little sooner than he'd think to. Oh yeah. Wow, I didn't think I was gonna do the heist in this episode. Oh, I love the pose. Love doing the poses. When that comes up. After the gang and I got away with the clockwork wings, Carmelita blew her cover and started making arrests <laughs> left and right. <laughs> With his That's reputation it. You're in shame, no John was forced to flee from his own party. He's now in hiding, somewhere deep in the jungle. Oh, he mad too. Yeah. The gang and I took a break and headed for Bollywood. Sweet. It took some doing, but we eventually snuck Murray onto the set of a full-blown Indian musical. My I was happy the guys goodness. got to unwind, but Rajan was still out there. And somehow, I knew things were about to get tough. Yeah. And Rajan gets decidedly more, like, psychotic in this episode, too. It's almost like he's <laughs> becoming the tiger, more of the tiger, less of the anthro. And the clockwork heart. How did you get on a Bollywood film? It took some detective work, you guys are insane. but and I managed to track down where Rajan had gone into hiding. Somehow, he'd managed to transform a long-forgotten temple into the thriving center of his spice operation. And it's there where we'll find him. The jungle, too thick to drive through, forced us to walk the long distance to our target. We ran into a few problems along the way, but pushed on. <laughs> For the temple was more than just Rajan's hideout. It was also home to the Clockwork Heart. A pump so strong and tireless, it could increase spice production tenfold. Good for Rajan, but awful for the rest of the world. Yeah. No more drugs. Hope he's not counting on that heart too much, because tonight, it comes home with me. Alright. Cy Cooper and the gang, in... The Predator Awakes. Yeah, it was all about, uh, you know, impressing the folks, and now that we blew him out of... Just, like, blew his reputation out of the water. I said blew him, and I regret it. We've just created a man who's lost everything. <laughs> okay. So what do we got? Snooze bomb. Yeah, puts our enemies in the area to sleep. Kinda just wanna blow him up. Juggernaut throw. Thrown objects explode on impact. I mean Yeah, I'm not even gonna think about that. And the stealth slide. Roll through the level silently. That one's pretty cool. 
I definitely think I gotta stop the episode here, though. But check it. Long forgotten temple. Middle of the wilderness. No man's land. No la. Just me and Rajan. Fight to the death. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I anticipate that next time I'm gonna be doing some bottle collecting. While picking enough pockets to get that last upgrade. Hold on. I like this better. It's like you skateboard on what? Who knows? Magic. I got I got rollerblades or something. I don't know. So next time, uh, yeah, the battles, the recon, and we just start getting the lay of the land as we move, lay our new plan. And face down the beast we've unleashed. So, thank you all for tuning in. Please comment and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And remember, you all have the potential to get good. Peace out.